Winkler and I am a co-owner with Ashley Custer of Uprooted Flower Truck. We've been running the truck for about a year and a half. It's been now a solid two years since we first really got moving on the idea. People said that they thought that it would be really nice to have a flower truck so that they could just like look at the options without feeling pressure to buy. In New York it can be kind of intimidating to go into a florist and you, you feel concerned that you don't know how much you're going to spend. We sell really high quality flowers in low quantities, but if you only have two dollars you can walk away with the flower. The fact that our flower shop can be wherever we want it to be is really helpful. When we get in our shipments, they've literally been cut in Holland the day before. So it's just like basically as fresh as you can get it. And then we also do source locally from the market as well. That's the same thing. Like those flowers were cut in New York upstate and brought down yesterday and here they are. My first job in high school and then it was one of those jobs that I just kind of kept coming back to like in college and I was just seeing the food truck model do really well and I was curious if it would translate and then here we are. We all get so attached to the flowers and we don't want them to be not used or not enjoyed. Flowers are, there are actually studies that they reduce anxiety and like generate happiness and actually productivity, thankfully, um, for, for us in the flower business. I love flowers. I love working with them. I feel it's a little bit of art therapy each day, which is really fun. Um, plant, I don't, my expertise isn't in plants. I definitely like focusing on fresh flowers. Um, I think what's cool about them is they're, it's like a temporary art. And I think that that's also just a trend in the country right now is like seeking happiness, you know, do what you love, you know, find little ways to feel gratitude. And, I think it's just something that's happening, especially as a millennial. I've talked with a lot of friends about how we were like promised that kind of, you know, like our parents slugged it out in nine to five jobs that were maybe like not their passion and sort of pushed us to be like, do what you want.